So this is our seed for the defect. That's what we're going to be running when I return. A extra wacky Pandora's start for the robot. This is going to be a very silly and very powerful run. Is the intention here. Uh, all I know is that I am supposed to swap my starting relic for a random boss relic. And we get the following. Steam Barrier, Two Tempest, Scrape, Static, Blizzard, Reinforced Body. Interesting. Very interesting. Lots of lightning and the thunder strike to scale with it. Not a whole lot of blocking, though. We'll figure it out. Let's see, interesting pathing. I think we want to start out this way. Having enough money for uh, an Act 1 shop relic, fairly difficult. Unless we get money from the event. We'll take the line that gives the possibility of that and trust that it maybe it does. What's that static reinforced? Herblam. Give me that steam barrier back. Thank you. Blap. Nice Phoenix, thanks for gift. Continuing that gift sub from the Bram Hammer. Is this a deck that wants a recycle? Oh, and Lice Phoenix, thanks as well for the five gifted birthday subs. Hey there, hey there. Gotta say, recycling Thunderstrike seems pretty good. At least initially. Beam Cell to actually make the Thunderstrike do more damage is pretty good. A zero cost card that gets drawn by the Scrape is also fairly desirable. Hmm. I recycled the Tempest to play the Tempest. I'll try Beam Cell. Well, actually, Recycle gets drawn by Scrape too. Upgraded. Problem is one, two, three. Four, five, seven permanent cards currently. Hmm. Mixed feelings about this card. Just gonna grab the beam cell. There's money. Okay. And with money, we will go to the store. Yeah. Twenty-four plus nine, thirty-three. Blah. What could possibly in the be in the store that might be useful? I don't know. FTL is the short-term nice addition here. Do I want a cool-headed? Probably not. I'll skip them all. I think we should be fine momentarily. Well, ask and ye shall receive. Preserved in... No. Chemical X is here. Making all of our X cost cards increase their effect by two. And now, my friends, we have the start of something very beautiful. If we could pick up another reinforce, that'd be ideal, but I don't know if that's going to happen necessarily. Self-repaired would be nice. No one could have seen this coming, but what about... What happens next? Hmm. Actually pretty happy with removing dual cast. Or actually no, Blizzard's worse. Obviously. Smiley face. Have some orbs. Hello? Music man, are you there? 
does 10 times 6 already. That's awfully close to a KO. Guaranteed to get Steam Barrier off the scrape. You like it. Oh, and the Beam Cell. Perfect. Thanks, Chemex. Music has left the chat, as has the Lagavulin. To scrape or draw X cost cards with zero energy? Unfortunately not. But it can still do some wonderful things. Love the fossilized helix here. First time we would lose health each combat, don't. We can instead focus on building the greatest, most powerful Thunderstrike deck that ever was. So, which way do we head from here? Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade is a pretty reasonable choice. Lots of good upgrades in this deck. I'd like to upgrade Beam Cell. I'd like to upgrade Tempest. Zap is a pretty good upgrade. Honestly, everything needs to be upgraded. Alternately, if I go Elite Heavy, what do I get? We can take out the Burning Elite. Actually, Elite Heavy just means fighting one Elite. There's only one Elite I can fight from here. Oh. Well, in that case, I'll take the rest sites, too. Easy choice. When you recycle with an X-Cost card with Chemex, do you get two extra energy? Also, no. When you play an X-Cost card for zero energy with Chemical X, does it benefit from the Wrist Blade? No. All of these are no, unfortunately. X is never treated as zero. It's its own distinct... Thing inspire. Let's start with the zap here. Instant payoff. Blah blah blah. Could take a second steam barrier. Turn up. We're immune to frail. That's pretty good with the reinforced body. I'm currently not that interested in the go for the eyes. I know we keep seeing them, and they'll be useful maybe later in the run, but right now, just want to get our damage in play and block with the reinforced body primarily. It is nice with scrape, but I don't know if we're going to use the scrape a whole lot from here. Actually gonna upgrade the reinforced early as well. That makes it 18 block for uh, zero energy potentially. Which is redonkulous. Scrape could end up being a cut from the deck. Um Currently, I would remove dual cast first, but then Scrape is definitely on the potential chopping block. Chaos is weird. I don't think we want auto shields. I would take an equilibrium. I would take a double energy. Maybe take other forms of energy generating card. There's a few fun options. Give him the blip blap. Easy. I would also take a source of focus at this point. What about a glacier? Real block. Kind of like it for once we've played the Tempest. We can replace our orbs with frost and then use the thunder strike with frost block. It's also nice with Static Discharge. Okay, I'll take a Glacier here. What about Doom and Gloom? Do we want guaranteed area damage? I'd rather just have an Electrodynamics. Granted, that's not something I can necessarily guarantee that I'll find, but... You know. Rourke. I agree. 
roared to you too, buddy. I can just full block with reinforce, that's OP. Also, you're dead. Blech. Juzu bracelet. No more combats in event rooms, huh? Double scrape? No. Not happening. Didn't find any additional X cost cards in Act 1. That's okay. I'm hoping uh, some will turn up later. If we're lucky. Is it too early to upgrade Thunderstrike? I think it is. Let's get the other Tempest upgraded. Greetings, Hexa Ghost. Good luck to you. Transmutation. Where's the transmutations at? Could have taken some of those hits on purpose to make static discharge work, but whatever. I have 90 damage. GG. The stinky nerd. There's an X cost card multicast. Evokes our next orb X times. Is that actually good? I think the answer is I don't care. Getting added to the deck. Because it, it says X on it, right? We, we got to do it. Got to have at least one. It's also a way to block with uh, Glacier, although not as good as blocking with Reinforced. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. X go and give it to you. But what about Inserter? Is Inserter going to give it to us? It being Orb Slots, of course. And the answer is yes. We will get Orb Slots every two turns from the Inserter. A nice way to kind of scale up over time, I guess. Interesting with Glacier here. If we can find some focus, Inserter would be really good. I think Blackstar is also very cute here, giving us extra relics off elites. The deck is certainly very strong, and so killing elites is probably easily achieved. At least for now. How's it going, Momokusing? Thanks for those birthday wishes. Or we could double our potions. That's okay. I wouldn't call it amazing. I think I want to go Black Star here. Double our relic drops. Let's see if we can find more ways to get card draw, energy, or stats out of that. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. But either way, we're going to have some fun. Oh boy, but it does the fun have a capital F U? Hmm. Maybe. Might have to go for that Burning Elite. That's spooky. I think our reasonable choices are as follows. Option A, three Elites, including the Burning Elite. Not a whole lot of healing, though, or upgrades. Option B, one less Elite, but more upgrades and a shop so that we can remove dual cast. We're pretty bad at killing the slavers on turn one because the Tempest damage is randomly targeted. Everybody else should be manageable. With two good potions, I don't really feel the need to go into regular fights so much. Although more card rewards are the only way to find more X cost cards. Blam. Fortunately, Glacier is 11. This is 12, though worth thinking about. Actually, Glacier and then Tempest preserves buffer too, right? We evoke. Yeah, then we just buffer that. And by buffer, I mean we kill. There's a turbo, Melter Plus, or Stack. 
The void from turbo gets drawn very, very, very quickly. So it's really only plus one energy for two draws. Doesn't seem like it's worth it much. Better with scrape. Although if scrape draws a void, you discard the void, still lose the energy. That's not very good. I'm going to skip these. And I'll take the card removal instead. See you later. Dual cast. Nice knowing you. Actually, that was a lie. It's horrible knowing you. the blip blap. Easy fight. Algorithm's a thing. Recursion actually pretty good with an upgrade on it. But I'd have to go green path for that to make any sense. Recursion plus says evoke your orb, channel the orb that was just evoked. Counts as creating a new lightning for the purposes of Thunderstrike, so it allows us to increase the power of Thunderstrike. Let's skip them all, ultimately. I think we're doing just fine. How about apparitions? Max health pretty important. Being intangible could make discharge better. I think I refuse. I regret my choice immediately. However, I'm still happy with the tungsten rod. Tungsten rod says whenever we would lose HP, lose one fewer, one less. I think we're going to go Red Path, chat. I think it's happened. First up, the three seashells. I'll go ahead and use a Power Potion here. Echo Form sounds great. Nine times five. But 36. Yeah, 36 is enough. Happy with Double Tempest here. Lucky. This doesn't even do anything. Okay, the slavers weren't too bad. <clears throat> we get a shovel enabling us to get even more relics by digging and a bottled lightning enabling us to have a particular skill in the opening hand. I'm thinking either glacier or maybe reinforced. Horse field. No. Cold snap. No. No. Let's go bottled uh, glacier here so we can get uh, frost orbs down on turn one. And I could dig instead of upgrading. Hmm. I'm not sure this deck benefits that much from random relics. Although that we did take Black Star to, to really to really get everything down. Dig up a war paint. Dig up a dig up a whetstone. These are compelling things. Okay, what is what is our First dig relic. Nunchaku, every time we play 10 attacks, gain an energy. I'd say that's got moderate utility. But only moderates. Um, hmm. I'm not going to play that yet. Here's the buffer. Yeah. Or 
I could block again. Plus 5, 23, still loses buffer. No point. Thunder Strike next turn. Scrape draws at least one of these two. This is Glacier, Scrape, Zap, Multicast, Steam Barrier, Tempest. Take a little bit. Beautiful. The Scroll Bar. Apparently he's supposed to just lose the potion normally? That's weird. Get the Bag of Preparation, two additional cards at the start of combat, excellent. Incense Burner makes us intangible every six turns, also excellent. Especially with the Tungsten Rod. Compulsive Beam Cell Loop, relatively mediocre. Those I'll be skipping. But I'll take the Dupe Pot over the Block Potion? Yeah, over the Block Potion. And I'll take more Max Health. Sounds good to me. Angry Leader. Pretty good fire potion, actually. Might get attacked next turn. If so, it would hurt. Alright, 7 times 10. <laughs> Gambling chip with bag of prep and smiling mask. Holy moly, we just got really, really rewarded by Black Star. And there's the upgraded go for the eyes. That one I'm going to take. Been wondering why I've been skipping the earlier ones. This is why. He he he. Give me that. Deck needs a Tori now. An energy sink version of double cast. Yeah, kind of. But that's uh, that is exactly what it's meant to be. You're meant to put a lot of energy into multicasts so that you get way more casts than just two. It's not very efficient if you're just playing multicast plus for zero energy. That's not a good use of the multicast. You want to play multicast for 10 energy, for 20 energy. We only took it because of the chemical X. It hasn't been very good. I think the deck would be better off without the multicast. Ooh, consume. There's a way to get some damage into the deck. I do like consume. That would have been nice with the inserter. Do I take it? Doesn't really feel like I need to. How about hologram? Hologram seems excellent. Hologram lets me get back the reinforced body. And that's very important. Or get back Zap, or whatever it is that I need. Ooh, I'm immune. Easy. More stuff we've already seen. So, Bronze Automaton, much easier to deal with if we set Incense Burner to zero at the end of this fight. It's gonna be a little dependent on the draws, but we'll try to do our best.
But having incense burner set to zero would mean intangibility during the hyperbeam turn, which is uh, very good. So that means we want to kill them all next turn, not this turn. I think means hologram reinforced body. Question is, can I kill them now? I think so. Good. Very good. Overclock heat sinks. No. Tech really wants a madness or something. Hello. Oh. oh. Well, that's funny. Or something indeed. Can't take your shots without calling them, I suppose. I'll take that madness, allowing us to make a random card in our hand free this combat. You know my intended target. It's the Thunderstrike. But it works just fine on the hologram on the glacier, too. I'll be taking that and I'll be removing... The multi -cat. No, um... Yeah, it is it is multicast, isn't it? Static discharge might seem useless, but that's only true for now. We're gonna need that in the late game. Uh particularly useful with the incense burner. I do plan on using that static later on. We could dunk the steam barrier. That feels a little bit weird block wise, but it's not terrible to get rid of. Let's do that first. Ah. Waffle? Nah, I'll save my money. Okay, and we are going to upgrade Madness. Or uh, not Madness, Hologram first. Then Madness. Sorry, Shovel, we've got upgrades to do. Zip zap. That is exactly sixteen, so we're fine. We keep that tempest for later. Wait, actually, how do I kill things without that? I need that. Give it back. Take my reinforced body, too. Extra weird. Wait a minute. Infinite? Not quite, but what is happening? Something's happening. <laughs> if the 
This actually would be infinite with Madness on Scrape. That's another infinite I've never seen before. That's really funny. Cool. BB Tech, thank you so much for those 100 birthday bits. You're having a great one today. Amazing. Enjoy the wedding. Yeah, both hologram and scrape need to be free for that to be infinite, or we needed a sundial. Sundial would also get us there. A hilarious time to lose my buffer. It's extra funny. Buffer, no! Unless we just kill it, actually. Not that I need the buffer, because we're intangible anyway. Give him the zip zap. GG. Poor guy never stood a chance. Meteor strike. With madness? <laughs> that sure is a madness target. And it would make for the most hilarious strike dummy of all time. Let's us, if we can play it, it lets us use the multicast to generate more energy, which makes the multicast really good. Actually, I really like it. We could even hard hard cast it with his energy potion if necessary. The more I play defect, the more I find Meteor Strike to be an eminently abusable rare card. Give it a shot here. Duh. <laughs> Sneko Eye. Oh man. Well, that makes the madness kind of bad, but everything else became irrelevant. We have Meteor Strike, Thunder Strike, X cost cards, which ignore Sneko Eye. Oh my. Well, let's do that. That sounds like it's going to be really breakable. Draw two extra cards each turn. Bear in mind, we're drawing nine cards on turn one with Gambling Chip, which means I can always play Meteor Strike on turn one, because we can draw up to 18 cards on turn one, and there are only 15 cards in this deck. Do you know that we offer channel memberships now? Support the channel directly here on YouTube for as low as $5 a month, and get awesome perks like a custom badge and emojis. But most importantly of all, I'll do exclusive Q&As, uploading a video response only available to members, so you can hear your questions read in my buttery voice. Click the join button below this video to get started. Back to the video. So, we're going to break this run wide open now. In all sorts of fun ways. You'd love to see it. Isn't the average energy cost of the deck too low for Sneko? Um, five is a very... Like, we've got a three and a five. There's a couple zero costers. Um, but it's really not all about... It's really not about the average cost of the deck. That's one way to evaluate it, but there's a much more important picture to look at, which is the weight. You also have to weigh the impact of the cards along their cost, right? So we've got one free card and one five cost card. That's an average of two and a half for the two cards. But you also have to look at what each card does. This card does basically nothing. This card does mega lots. So the idea is we ignore the half the deck that does nothing and we play the mega lots over and over and over again and boy is it broken. Just broken as hell. Two, three, four, five, six, perfect. So for example here I can Meteor Strike, Multicast, Hologram, get Meteor Strike back, play Beam Cell, Meteor Strike again. Now I have five energy. Get Madness out of my hand. Tempest for a million. Yeah. It's really not about average card costs. So that was turn one. I'll take another Tempest. Ah. 
This is a deck that's pretty good for Abacus. Whenever we shuffle the draw pile, gain at six block. We do that practically every turn. It's a shame the wing boots are out of my price range, as they're very good with the Black Star. Well, just Abacus card removal looking really good here. We can actually activate the block from the Abacus on turn one with Gambling Chip. How cute is that? Just gonna remove the beam cell. I should have a birthday more often. Maybe next year I'll have two. Does sound pretty fun. Do I want to reshuffle? Sure, let's just do it. Go, Abacus! You ever just have a free Meteor Strike? The Blapping. Frost Orbs, who needs them? Serpak, thanks for 22 months of support. CCD says, what was my plan when I drafted the Meteor Strike, even though I couldn't afford to pay five mana for it? Energy Potion was one way to play it. The other intended way was use the madness to make the Meteor Strike free. Or find relics that let me do it. Like a mummified hand, maybe. Lose the Tempest, no way. I'll give up my Energy Potion. What do you got? The Lantern. Energy on turn one. So, for example, if we had taken an energy relic like Fusion Hammer and then found this lantern, then with Gambling Chip we could have always played Meteor Strike on turn one. And when we play Meteor Strike on turn one, we can then play multicast to immediately get four energy back. So that would also have been a way to do it that we just saw. If I hadn't gotten this Neko Eye. Let's take another event here. Glowing Tesseract. I'll look at a few colorless cards. Anything really special in here? Master Strategy with Snekoi, not so much. Line, not so much. Enlightenments. You'd think it would be good with Snekoi, but it's really not. Mayhem's funny. Play the top card of the draw pile each turn. What's the worst that could happen? Let's try it. The... Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? I mean, really. So then we multicast. So then we hologram the meteor strike. Play the meteor strike again. Make static free. I believe I'm losing my buffer over this. Twenty one times. Oh, that wasn't enough. Let me try again. That's more like it. GG. Get the Gremlin Horn giving me an energy when an enemy dies. Good for any Reptomancers we have to fight. Bottled Flame just guarantees the Meteor Strike, I guess. Zeknahar! Thanks for that 93 man raid. Welcome on in. You're joining us for an extra special birthday show today. We're doing Seated Slay the Spire Runs. This one is a. Pandora's box that started with a bunch of X cost cards, and we now have a Thunderstrike oriented run on our hands. It's been a, a really wild time. We we're planning on doing Madness Hologram Scrape things, but then Snekoi Meteor Strike showed up, so we've incorporated that into the ridiculousness. 
Zeknar is an incredibly talented Spire Slayer, of course, recently had a 16 win streak on the Silent on Ascension 20 Hearts, which is the current record and absolutely out of control. Nobody else has managed to get anywhere near that. I believe it did come to an end at 16. It's no longer an ongoing streak. That good old book of stabbing put it to an end. I'll bottle the meteor strike. What's the worst that could happen? Why does he keep saying that? Get that out of play. Yeah, here we go. Pretty lightning. I'm glad that we got to a place where the multicast became good. It was definitely not good for a while. You might think that we wanted defrag to go with our orb spam, but honestly, it's really just inconsequential. One focus is not enough. Two, still not really enough. I'd be okay with a data disc, though. Bottle for card draws, fine. Plus one strength is good, means the Thunder Strike hits a bit harder. Fusion's like a Meteor Strike, but way crappier. Hey, hope you enjoy uh, Hades, Ravenock. I'm actually planning on playing a little bit of Hades today. Still gotta get that Extreme Measures 4 dad kill on the save file we started last month. Thinking about this regen potion, let's... These potions are too good, though. i keep them. Take the blue key here. Four more relics. Into fall. Losing Thunderstrike, Static Discharge, or Tempest. Oh, I guess we'll lose the Static Discharge after all. Where we're headed, we don't need to take damage. Because we are invincible. Could have also lost one of the Tempests, but that's heretical. Unacceptable. Oh, I should have kept that. That zap. Maybe not three energy zap, though. lightning and three more 29 lightning GG big boy get the ornamental fan giving us block for three cards played the courier letting us buy more stuff from the shop and yeah nothing we want can't believe we haven't even had to use the reinforced body in a long time. 
do get offered two more madnesses. If we hadn't taken the Sneko Eye, this would be the perfect set of cards for this deck, allowing us to do maybe an infinite combo, genuinely. Here, we'll just lose some max elf. Double orb walkers for yet another relic? I'm on board. It's not like they'll be hard, right? Easy. That is guaranteed hits hologram here. Never mind. Still good though, thankfully. Same deal as last fight. Basically the exact same hand we just had. Lightning out right kills, but does. Don't even need the Thunderstrike there. Now I'm immune to weaken. Capacitor could be more energy. Eh, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Our last elite, our last two relics, at least this act anyway. Can we kill Nemesis on turn one again? Looks pretty promising with this draw. Get the multicast. Oh, yes, we did. Oh, hello. Gold-plated cables, our rightmost orb activates one more time. Good with plasma in particular. Old coin gives us 300 more dollars. And an all-for-one lets us put all zero-cost cards back into our hand. Particularly abusable with madness. Sure, I'll take an all-for-one. All right, we have to recall here. And I'm excited for the awakened one. Jalali asks, is X considered zero? We did cover this briefly earlier in the run. X is never zero for any purpose, unfortunately. So no, no interactions with particular costing cards are ever available for that reason. They want the birds to live? That's gonna be very difficult to do, I hope you know. Like, nearly impossible. But only nearly. Because I'm going to do a really, really big... Tempest. Like 37 energy big. Thanks, Abacus. Womp womp. Gur, apparently. Commence the jiggling. Rip. Who's next? Time Eater! So you're saying I can only play a certain number of cards per turn. Okay. Good luck to you. Hmm. 
quaint. I guess it's okay leaving only one card play next turn, huh? Seems to be fine. Ah, company! Wait, not that kind of company. GG. To thump, to thump, to thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room is this, the heart of the spire. The source of all these lightning strikes. You charge your core to its maximum, and then stick a balloon to the wall, dealing 2872 damage. Have I been here before? Now, we didn't exactly set up Incense Burner for the elites, but I don't think we actually have to do that. The seed we're using here is only going to work on PC. Unfortunately, seeds are not the same between consoles. I do believe it'll work on Android, though. As I think the Android shares seeds with the PC version. Let's dig. Symbiotic Virus. Starting us out with a Dark Arb. And a Dolly's Mirror, letting us duplicate any card in this deck. Oddly enough, I think I'm going to duplicate multicast. Sundial is here. Doubling Meteor Strike was probably the easiest no-brainer choice, but I'm going to double the... Double the multicast. And I think you wanted to remove it, right? To think. Now I'll remove Madness instead. Could take another hologram here. Akabeko for Thunderstrike doesn't make any sense, because we're gonna be playing we have to play Meteor Strike first, and that would use the Akabeko. Now strike dummy, that'd be good. I'll take the sundial. I'll take the hologram. The skims are different prices. That's funny. I'll just take the heal too. I'm out of here. Don't think we got a whole lot of use for Aura Calcum or anything like that. I believe I've broken the game. Turn three, Spookitude is fine. Might be preferable with buffer? 
It's fine. Hope you guys are ready for a shocking end to this fight. Please wait while Spire loads. Loading death program. 90%. 95%. One hundred percent. Executing code and enemies. Murder.exe has encountered an error. Would you like to send a report? More energy. I'll take it. Thanks, Happy Flower. One more hologram. I think the unupgraded one we picked up will be fine. We don't need three. Two is good. I've still got good potions for heart. Oh, boy. Also, do I just lose buffer to beat of death? Not with Glacier in my opening hand, but oof, the price. Glacier, then duplication, meteor strike? That feels right. We don't need to channel unlimited lightning orbs here, we just need enough that we will always kill with... Or, well, always to ca cap damage with Thunderstrike. Uh, Meteor Strike costs one, so I think what I want to do is this. Hologram, Meteor Strike. Play Tempest. Use the leftover energy to play Meteor Strike again. That way I've got a million energy and reinforced body next turn. I'm immune, you fool. Yes, perfect, perfect. Oh! Not perfect. <laughs> I didn't draw it. That's funny. And the burn ruins the buffer. <laughs> If only I'd bought Aura Calcum, chat. No, it's okay. We can just hologram uh, Glacier. We're fine. But that's funny. Thunderstrike. First of all, how dare you? All right, who's ready to watch Thunderstrike evoke forty nine times? Get him, Abacus. Top deck to the burn. Whoops. Guess I'll have to block.
Kablam. Oh, perfect timing. And just for good measure, a bit more block. I'm gonna finish with the Thunder Strike. Feels required. GG, Mr. Hart. GG. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.